three choices. You have three choices when you're dealing with any kind of conflict. Peacemakers that are trusting and safe. Peacekeepers that are non-confrontational. And peacebreakers that love to make conflict. Which are you? The Conflict Resolution Program at Susan Wagner High School embarked on a project and researched individuals from our past, such as Anne Frank and Mohandas Gandhi. Doing so, we were able to identify how these voices speak to our own and inspire us to become powerful voices in our own communities and the role we play in teaching future generations. In doing so, we were able to create the workshop Voices of Our Humanity. One, three. One, two, three. Our journey led us to the Anne Frank Center in New York, where we partnered with the A&E Television Network to shoot a documentary paying tribute to the anniversary of Anne Frank. We were able to see Anne's life through the lens of her father's camera, and we were able to relate Anne's struggles to our own personal lives. So, the idea of hatred tore me apart. My brother was viciously beaten because he was mistaken to be Mexican. My brother lived through it, but others have not. The parents of Yusuf Hawkins, Yanko Rosenbaum, and Matthew Shepard will never have their sons back. What were the crimes of these people that their lives had to be taken away from them, from us? One was black, one was Jewish, and the other was gay. My brother's Dominican. Whether it's Dominican, Jewish, black, gay, is race or sexual orientation a reason to take a life in this country? It's our job in this school to stand up, as we said many times, stand up to those who stand alone. Whether someone's being, whether it's serious, whether someone's uh, being made fun of, or whether two kids get into a fight and they need someone to mediate the problem, that's what we're here for. When is it the right time to speak? When you have to, or when you want to, but you think you won't be heard? I am a 16-year-old girl. I was born in Liberia, raised in Ghana. My name is Grace Widisema Johnson, and my struggle is losing my, losing the label of a quiet one and finding my voice. Due to this program, I have found my voice. I speak when it matters. I speak for those who don't have a voice. I speak for my family and friends. I speak for my beliefs. I speak because I am my brother's keeper. We are everyone. We represent everyone's pride and everyone's pain. We will not let our struggles define us. We will let them bring us the opportunities to let forgiveness wash away the pain. And in doing so, we become the voices of our humanity. And today is the day our voices will be heard. What happens next? What happens next? A day.